about me, I got married the old-fashioned way, pregnant. <laughs> I'm a traditionalist. Oh, you too. Okay, right on. Yeah. This is what happened in my situation. We can maybe, you know. I said, honey, I'm not on any birth control right now, so we have to be really careful. And he heard, fuck me, you big enormous stud. So, you know, it's a little miscommunication. But we, we worked out. It was okay. I bet it was nine months before I already paid for a wedding, so I wasn't super stoked about being 200 pounds on my wedding day. But, you know, and I'd already bought a nice dress with a waist. So, so there goes that. And so I had to go out and find a pregnancy wedding dress. Which really wasn't as difficult as I thought. I just went to TJ Maxx. They have a whole section. <laughs> just pick one up. Um, oh, wow. That just snuck up on me. <laughs> it was actually a lot of fun. Um, I might take that home with me. Um, it would be good. Uh, yeah, but I did... Um, I got him back for making me wear a tent on my wedding day. Uh, about three days into our honeymoon, um, he's drunk, he rolls over, he thinks he's gonna get some, I guess, I'm pregnant, so I'm not thinking that. And just the logistics alone, it's like Mount Everest. And um, so he's kinda, uh-huh, and he says, oh baby, you're so wet. And I'm like, my water broke. <laughs> get the car, that's what needs to happen now. Um, so, I think I'm a winner. On his wedding night, his wife's vagina had someone else's head going out of it and someone else's hands going in. Winner! <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner! Yeah, um, it's not a competition. Okay. Um, it is kind of. Um, and is there anybody, well, it's going to probably this row, dating? Because I think you guys, anybody dating? It doesn't matter because I'm going to do the bit anyway. Okay, good, okay, yeah, okay. So, you're dating. And it's so annoying, right? They're like, when are you getting married? I'm assuming to him. And, oh, 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 you're seeing, oh, okay, well, what's going to happen is, people are going to be like, when are you going to get married? And then when you're at, on your wedding day, they're like, when are you going to have a baby? And then, like, right after you pop it out, they're like, they're looking at it, and they're like, when are you going to give it a brother or sister? And you're like, I'm still wearing a pad the size of a twin mattress. I'm not thinking about having another one. So I got sick of that. So I started saying, this is, you guys can use it. Well, we're not sure we're keeping this one. I mean, it's kind of cute, but that could change, and then what? <laughs> um, no, we kept him. Don't worry. He's cute. It's fine. He's in college, the whole thing. Um, and we managed to get to our 23rd wedding anniversary recently, so I think we're stubborn. Yeah, I think that might be why. Um, it's crazy. It was not... Um, all great. Uh, during the, you know, lockdown, we, you know, we talked a lot about divorce. It was like a little hobby. We didn't like sourdough bread, so. Um, <laughs> but we're not athletic, and we don't want to hang out with old people, so no pickleball. You know? So, um, we don't want to hang out with young people either. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, yeah, so it was a thing. But I did, I did do some yoga. Did you guys do yoga? Did everybody? Yogas? Yeah. I just did corpse pose. <laughs> in front of the fridge, yeah. Um, and then right in the middle of all the laying around, or whatever, I, diagnosed with breast cancer, oh. I know I'm gonna take it there. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, it was great, and, you know, it was kind of weird because people would be like, oh, I'm so sorry. Well, at least you don't have COVID. <laughs> Thank you, okay. That's good. Um, and it was strange. I found out that uh, medical insurance is just coupons. So, <laughs> sorry, sorry to break that to you. Uh, and my husband, actually, he was great during the whole thing. I mean, you know, I, I joke around, but he never did bring up divorce during the whole time. But I think we all know if you divorce your wife during breast cancer treatment, your dick will fall off. <laughs> That's what happened to Giuliani when he did it. Yeah, <laughs> it explains a lot. We're, we're not sure, but maybe his cellmate will tell us. Uh, thank you. I, I guess that's the side that, you know, it's the right thing. Um, but he gave me a foot massage almost every night. Right. Which is why I haven't told him I'm in remission. And the whole time I was bald, I lost my hair. He didn't slap Chris Rock. So... <laughs> Yeah, I thought about a GoFundMe page, but I didn't want to find out in print right there how much everybody likes me, but I've, I've reversed that. So um, if you want to start the GoFundMe page, my name's Catherine Short, S-C-H-O-R-R. -R.